Hi, I'm Siobhan, and I'm here with The Flute View, here with Ian Clark. Your CD Within um, is one of the most sought-after CDs in, in the flute history. What inspired you to start writing music for flute? Were you always dabbling in composition, or what inspired you to write really accessible music for flute players? Well, it, it's sort of something I've been asked a few times, and I, I've thought about, um, you know, <laughs> how did it happen? And actually, <laughs> I, I reckon one of the reasons that I started writing was um, because when I was about 16 or 17, um, lots of my friends took up the guitar, you know, people who weren't necessarily classical musicians and took up the drums, and I started playing in a band with people. Uh, so rock music was something where you would jam 12-bar blues, uh, you, and then the guys would say, let's write a song, and it's just a kind of a genre in which you, it's more can-do in terms of creativity. Right. Uh, but, uh, you know, whereas classically, that's kind of not, you know, it's not the first thing your flute teacher says to you, is Siobhan, where's your knock, where's your next piece? <laughs> right. Uh, with your flute teacher said it to me, but but uh, I don't think my flute teacher ever said that to me. So, but obviously when I was playing in a rock band, I played keyboards and sang really badly, um, but... <laughs> I wanted to play the flute because that was my main instrument. Right. And it was sort of through that route that I, I kind of found permission and environment to start being creative with the flute, and it grew from that. Gotcha. Although I had a, a grounding with my piano teacher, who was a classical piano teacher. She went to Juilliard, and um, she taught me how to put music together. So those things fused, fused together. So I know a lot of people are really influenced by you. Who would you say is your biggest influence as an artist? Uh, well, I mean, I could, I could make the evasive answer that many people do get. I'm influenced by lots of people, which is really true. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you go through phases in your life of having different influences. Right. Um, certain things might be influential on me. Like I like Pink Floyd a lot when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to think, great. Um, but uh, I, I used to think... Um, Oscar Peterson on the piano was amazing. How did he do that? Obviously, Jimmy Galway. Robert Dick was um, a big influence. Uh, I remember going to um, the first British Flute Society convention, I think it was, in the Royal College in London, and Jimmy Galway, or Sir James, I don't know if he was Sir then, but anyway, Jimmy was playing, and so was Robert Dick. And I was probably in my early 20s, and I'm not sure I'd heard, I hadn't heard Robert at all, uh, and hearing Jimmy not in an orchestral setting but in a recycle setting and they both did amazing concerts and I was blown away and that was kind of really caught me Robert caught me with the possibilities of what you could do in the flute yeah. Jimmy caught me, me with all the things that, that, that he does so amazingly so or has done so amazingly so it's um, I think they were big influences I mean then you kind of go through different phases and other things come in so I'm, I'm not in quite in the same place now as I was then but I'm not, I, I think Robert would have, if I hadn't been for Robert, uh, things would have been different. So, maybe last question. What three things would you offer as advice to flutists, a young flutist, a student, upcoming flutist? Spend some time, every time you practice, playing, you know, like you used to on the flute. You know, when you took out the flute and it was just fun, <laughs> before we got serious. Uh, <laughs> So remember just to play some tunes just because you like playing the flute. Yeah. Spend a little bit of time in your practice nurturing that part of yourself that just likes playing because I yeah. think that's easy to forget. Yeah. You know, what that means, finding a new tune, playing a pop tune, playing, I don't know, anything. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, so play. Don't just practice or make practice play. Uh, be imaginative. This thing we talked about earlier imaginative and creative in the way you practice how could I solve this problem in a kind of playful way mm -hmm. um, so don't just hit it hard right <laughs> with a baseball bat until it you know it, <laughs> <laughs> I will get this right uh, so be creative about your approach um, and what's the third one um, share Share, share your playing with the audience, share it with your family and friends, share it by playing with other people, play in groups. You know, if there's anybody you can hang out with and play some music, playing in groups and playing with people is brilliant. You know, find the guitarist, the pianist, a flute joint. <laughs>
Okay. Thank you so much, Ian. Again, I'm Siobhan with The Flute View, and we had the privilege to talk to Ian Clark here. And go check out our website, thefluteview.com. Thanks.